What's up, YouTube? KK Jinx here, playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today, we are starting the mini series of the Champions Ballad, which is from the DLC expansion pack. Before we dive in, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and punch that bell square in the face to get notified about the next episode in this mini series. Okay, now that you've finished with that, let's get right into it. So, in this first part of this mini series, it is just going to be the one hit obliterator. So, we are just going to come right on back here. And we are going to try to take the one hit obliterator. And this is going to bring you down to a quarter of a heart, so it doesn't really matter which armor you wear, except that I wear the sneaky armor to make it easier for me to, well, obviously, sneak up on my enemies. I am Maz Kushia. I now address the one who wishes to master a divine beast. To undertake this task requires unwavering dedication. That weapon defeats foes with one hit. However, the reverse is also true, as its wielder will also die with one hit. You can use this weapon's ability only twice within a set period of time, only when it's glowing. When enough time passes, the weapon will regain its sheen along with its power. At the four marked locations within the Great Plateau, defeat all monsters present to prove your power. If you are not up to the challenge, leave this plateau. The weapon will return here and the trial will end. One hit obliterator. All right, so we have our locations. I like to start here and work my way around that way. So let's go ahead and make our way there. And be careful on your way as it will not take anything to make you die. Falling, getting hit by anything, but it's not terrible to get through. So there are some really fast methods of getting through this, and that is by using ancient arrows. They are basically a stealth one-hit obliterator, um, but for the purpose of this, I am not going to be using that, nor am I going to be using Majora's Mask, which is also another thing you can use. But the first spot is here. And I'm mostly going to be using arrows. I'm gonna shoot a bomb arrow at these guys. See if I can wait till they get a little bit closer. I missed. There we go. Got a few of them. <laughs> now, that guy, you can knock him down. I'm actually just going to shoot him with this ancient arrow here. Whoops, I missed. Check that out. I missed again. Got him that time. Alright, so that was all my ancient arrows, so do better than I did. So. Now, if you really want to be able to see where your enemies are, turn on your stasis. So there's another one down. Oh, these bat wings, there's so many of them. And that took care of that guy. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that the other one is around there. And I'm pretty sure that you don't actually have to kill these guys. Definitely didn't need the one-hit obliterator for it, but... Hey, it charges for free, right? And so now, because I'm in my sneaky clothes, this guy has no idea that I am even going to show up here. There's another one. Okay, and then we've got another guy over here. And he is a little bit stronger, so I'm going to do it this way. Oh, 
There we go. And of course, you can go around and collect all the things that you find, but just be careful because, like I said, it doesn't take an enemy to make you die right now. But let's go into the Yowaka Aida Shrine. Collected soul. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is see those metal spike balls. I wanna use mag magnesis and try to grab them. And don't let it hit you because that's enough to kill you. And place it where the orb's gonna go so that way they don't respawn. Now let's just try to get this one. There we go. Gonna leave that there for now. And then try to make your way down without getting hit. That's that. It's also enough to kill you. Now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna grab this giant scoop. And there's three things over here we need to grab. Big orb, the little orb, and the chest. So whichever one we can get first, that's the one we're gonna do first. Alright, so it looks like it's gonna be the little orb. Let's try to get out of the way before something like this happens. And try to do it gently. I threw that in there because I was afraid that it was going to fall into that hole. And that's not the one that I want it to go into. Alright, so grab your scoop again. And let's try to go for the next thing. Okay, we got this. Let's get up out of the way. Slowly and gently bring it to you. And then just try to get it out of there without knocking it off the whole platform. Kind of shimmy it side to side and then I'm just going to shove it in there. Alright, so I do want to get the chest before we leave though. I didn't get the chest, I got the spiked ball. Alright, so it always comes over here, so we're just gonna sit over here and wait. Try not to catch things that aren't what we're trying to get. Oh, I missed. Okay. This time for sure. Alright, now let's see if we can get it back here without dropping it. All right. Got five bomb arrows, and then there is, of course, the chest in here. The Phrenic Bow, a bow passed down through the Sheikah tribe. Concentrating before drawing the string will allow you to target distant enemies as easily as those nearby. It just aims better. So I'm going to clear a spot for it because I want this. All right. So now our last task is to get the small orb back up there without getting hit by the two stone balls. All right, so far so good. Now I'm going to set this in here and then remove these from out of the way. And ta-da! We have all of the chests. We can tell by the symbol next to the shrine name, so let's get out of here. Alright. 
And I'm gonna skip through all this stuff. Just like at the beginning of the shrine. Spirit Orb. Okay. Our next location is here. So I'm going to take a shortcut. Okay, so from here, we want to go to this one. So let's just fly on down. Now, this one is all Lazolfos. And I like to start out from this end. Because they can be awfully hard to fight. I hear something. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. All right. Let's go. Rota Shiga Shrine. Stop to start. All right, so this one you will need your magnesis for. We're going to grab this thing. And we're going to place it as a stepping stone right here for us. And then we're going to use that to bridge us across. Pull this a little bit closer. Climb up on there. And we're going to just fly right over. Fly right down. Get up here. Stasis this one. Makes it a little bit easier to get around these spikes. And then we've got these conveyor belts. The way that I like to do it is once I get to the horizontal ones, I crouch. It's just a lot easier to control him. All right. So this one, the first one, we can break or we can shoot it. Then space is the last one. Or the second one. Whichever. Just don't run into either one of them. And then we're going to come around down here. And this is the switch that we want. I like to be facing this way. This is going to turn us around. Show us what's coming. And then I can just trigger it. And get turned back around quickly. So first we go around that guy. The right one's going to come out. Keep going forward. Go to the left. This one, climb over, and this one's gonna bring him in from the sides, then the top. I like to crouch and go around this way. And then we're gonna just climb up here and jump through without hitting the spikes. Ta da. Okay, we are going to ignore him for now, and we are just going to run over to this one.
Alright, so from up here, we have a little bit of a vantage point. Because these guys are super annoying. There's a lot of them. And they're all over the place. I'm not sure how many more there are, but since we've gotten most of them down, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can shoot him with some bullet time. Got him. Right. Yeah, there's a sleeping guy in here. And that's it. Didn't even need the one-hit obliterator. I mean, you can sneak up on them, but it is really hard to do without them noticing you and then all of them bum-rushing you. It is nice to have just in case you need it, though. Ruvo Korba Shrine. And this is a major test of strength. Don't be worried about it. You got the one hit obliterator. And just to give you a fair warning, I was super confused my first time because I was like, there's no way that they wanted me to fight this guy and I only got to hit him one time because there's more to it than just fighting him. And you shall see. Do not let him hit you. come up to this chest and then you'll see what happens after we hit that switch ooh more bomb arrows I need those so come up and step on the foot switch and dun 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 check that out we're gonna go down there guys Let's go, right now. All right, got locked door there. Can't go anywhere that way, so let's go this way. And watch out for guardians because they will get you. So there's going to be one up there, you know, and then there's going to be one right on the left. But these guys only take one shot, so wait till your thing fills up so you can freeze them again and then just one hit obliterate them. Or just run up to them, whichever one you feel like doing. But it's as easy as that. I'm just going to grab these screws while I wait for him to finish dying. Look at all these goodies he left. Nope, I got no room for stuff. Alright. I always check your sides to make sure. See what I mean? Now you know it's going to take him a minute to recharge, so just go ahead and shoot him. Let's take this ladder. Got this chest, which should be our small key, and it is. So let's go to our not small door. Oh, 
Okay, this part is honestly the worst. So, get yourself some safety. Now, there's going to be one that drops in the middle, and one, two that drop on the sides. And then, one down there. So, you have to really be careful. Now, if you can just get them to knock off and land in the water, they die. Now, the other option you do have is once you get the middle guy gone, you can just come shoot him a couple times. And then you're going to have another one on the other side. Alright, so that's how you know those are all done. And I do like to go and collect the ancient parts. Oh, he didn't leave any. And you can get to the other side by just going up and around this way. But it doesn't look like he dropped anything either, so I'm just gonna go here. And we are gonna call this one done. Alright, so for this one, I found that coming in through the back way is also better. So I'm going to come up to this one. And make sure you put on your cold clothes because you will get cold. Alright, so now we've got to make our way up there. Waiting through snow is the worst. So I'm going to bring my pony. At least for a little bit. Now, if you have sneaky stuff, you can go ahead and, and wear that for this. But I'm going to go from a high vantage point again. Uh. Oh, no. My horse. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Anyway, now that I feel bad. Alright, so here's all our friends. And then we got all these guys over here. And these guys are all big game. You know, they're, they're harder to beat. Yeah, they don't even know where any of it's coming from. Alright, so this guy, I'm just gonna do this. Alright, looks like someone else still left. And that concludes that. This is Itsu Korima Shrine. So this one is obviously in the dark. Alright, so we are going to just duck under these laser beams. Watch out for this last one. And then down in here, just stick around to the outside wall and you'll be perfectly fine.
and then wait for the fire to pass that you can go. And then watch out for the small guardians here. Thinks he's sneaky, he's not. And you see the lights came back on. So let's go ahead and call this done. I am Maz Koshia. You have done well to conquer the trials laid before you. You are Hyrule's beacon of hope. But your trials have only just begun. The divine weapon shall lead you. Now that you have proven your power, a new journey awaits. Go to the four locations that will be revealed to you and reach for greater heights than ever before. All right, so that concludes the One Hit Obliterator and part two of the mini series will be going to those locations. For now, that's all boys and girls. And with that, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to punch that bell right in the face with your fist. Thanks for watching.